Okay. Hey, welcome back to episode two. I guess. Probably. Alright, we're gonna do Pedalberg today. And probably catch some Pokemon. I kinda wanted this to be a somewhat completion playthrough, so I'll do what I can on that front. Also, I'm probably gonna cut a lot of these battles, because, uh, yeah, they suck. I was kind of expecting to just be able to, you know, start the thing and talk, but this whole process has been a lot more of a pain than I expected it to be. It's okay. We caught Wormhole. Yay. What are we going to name it? Why didn't I read the Pokedex? Um, I have no way of knowing what it's going to evolve into, so... see what he's got. Shield dust, relax nature, that's pretty terrible. But okay. I think it's based on his stats, right? When he levels up? Is it attack and defense or is it defense and special defense? I don't know. Maybe they have to be even? Am I thinking of a different Pokemon? Probably. Whatever, either way, gotta add him to the layout. This is gonna be a long cut. Okay, there we go. Wormhole. Nice. All right, can't stop it from snapping, so I guess Wormhole will be slightly off center. Great. Should move Munkip to be slightly off center then as well. Yeah. Good compromise. <laughs> Whatever. There he is. Wormpole. Okay. Ugh. I don't even know how much I'm gonna actually use Wormpole, but you know, he's here. rebind on my buttons to epic amazing professional the youtuber here there's a lot of noises in this house this is going to be a long and painful let's play We'll get there, eventually, somehow. And where, you might wonder, is, uh... Good point. I don't really know. I'd like for people to watch my stuff. Would I watch this? Yeah, probably, actually. I think I could laugh at me. Okay, I'll tell you next time. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut a million times that mess with settings. Oh, but you should have done this beforehand. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um. Train the Dwan. 
This isn't a Nuzlocke, by the way. I'm just gonna play until the game is done. Um, I'm gonna do as much of this game as I possibly can as well. So if you don't like Pokemon Emerald, then... Well, this is what it's gonna be for a minute. Granted, I could probably do two things at the same time, but... I don't know what the second thing I'd want to do would be. I guess it could be a lot of things. But the things I'm going to be uploading on the side are probably not going to be like this. Please, Wormple, if you could please. Just do not. Thank you. My nose, if you could not. Delicious. Sorry, bug catcher Rick, it's nothing personal. And I need to figure out what's actually on these routes so I can catch everything. Should have found out beforehand. Yeah, I know. Friggin' voice inside of my head telling me what to do at all times. How dare you? I'm not insane, you're insane. You know, I'm sure if you looked at me, you would think, man, this guy really likes black and red, you know? He must have a problem. And I do have a problem. But that's not it. It's actually completely coincidence, I swear. Why am I looking at Wormple again? He's still a Wormple. Or is it a girl? I think it's a boy. It is. Wow, we're both beginners. That's crazy. A zigzagoon. Other news. Friggin' uh, Galarian zigzagoon. Looks pretty cool. Although, granted, he's kind of just zigzagoon, but with his tongue out. Also, I forgot to swap. This thing's not gonna do anything. Still. Looks nice. And then Linoon evolves. Hopefully it doesn't still get Belly Drum Extreme Speed, because if it evolves and still gets that, that is going to be terrifying. Alright, Dewan, it's time to get pecked. By pecked, I mean it's time for you to run away and let horse get pecked instead. Probably gonna need to pick up a Taylo. Nothing else can fly until I get a flag on. Oh, okay, that's definitely a lie, but. Right now is not the best time. Well, I say that like I haven't cut 40 other times. I thought I could beat you. Oh, how sad. But you were wrong. You fool. Also, berries are a thing. They're cool, I guess. I don't know, when I was a kid, I was always just let the berries die and forget about them and then I'd never pick them and it'd be useless, but, you know. New day, new me. I'm gonna keep winning. I aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. No. Unless your career is going to be losing to Mudkip using Tackle five times. I can help you with that. Uh, 
it's so dry here. My lips are like cracking into pieces. It's a horrible, horrible thing. That being said, I'm gonna cut and put chapstick on. Alright, I did it. You cannot defeat Horse. He is too powerful. Gosh, one more poison stick. When I was younger, I used to think if you picked a girl trainer, it was guaranteed to give you a girl starter, and vice versa. It's not the case, but you know. Picked one solo to Shermish? We'll see. If I get a lucky poison here, I think you can do it. Alright. It's not doing it. That's gonna do nothing. One HP. Who do you think you are? A shroomish? Come on. Come on, get out of here with that. Okay. It's gone. The Dwan is too powerful. Yes. Yes, you did. How does it feel losing to a Wormple that I caught on a whim? You should feel bad. Wow, well, we're in Petalburg. That means I'm totally going to end the episode, except not really. Instead, I'm going to sneeze while Nurse Joy heals my Pokemon. Let's talk to people. Hello there, trainer. You've got a wonderful smile there. I have a hobby, collecting the profiles of Pokemon trainers. So how about it? May I see your profile? Sure. Let's see it then. I am a Pokemon friend. That's very cute. Let's go with I am a... a Machine babe. Yeah, that's me. I'm a machine babe. Fantastic. Your profile. It's wonderful. It really says what you're about. Why anyone hearing this profile would be captivated by you. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Anyone would be captivated. Words. By a machine babe. Cool trainer card. There are many types of Pokemon. All types have their strengths and weaknesses against other types. Depending on the types of Pokemon, a battle can be easy or hard. For example, your Mudkip is a water type. It's strong against fire types. But it's weak against the grass type and electric type Pokemon. Wow. Great. When my Pokemon ate Norm, Marriott regained HP. But it also beats rock and ground. And you didn't say that. You fraud. That PC-based Pokemon storage system, whoever made it must be some kind of scientific wizard. I don't go that far. I was kind of a loser. What? No. Don't do this. Wow. Great. Awesome. I don't know if a wireless adapter. Hmm. I forgot that that came out. I only ever had a link cable, because the wireless adapter was pointless. Because you could only be like two feet away from someone. When my Pokemon ate- oh wait, no, I already talked to you, never mind. Go away. Where is our Wally gone? We have to leave for Verdant Turf soon. Donde esta Wally? Let's say you have six Pokemon. If you catch another one, it's automatically sent to the storage box. Speaking of, I gotta start filling out my Pokedex a bit. So let's do that now. Uh, at some point, I'm probably going to be using boosted EXP to level up Pokemon. Um, 
not just, you know, random party Pokemon, but I'll be trying to evolve stuff later in the game, and there's not a whole lot of good grinding spots in Emerald, so you do what you gotta. Like cutting a Wurmple fight. Okay, a Lotad. That's definitely one I want to catch. Pokemon lives in ponds with clean water. It is known to ferry small Pokemon across ponds by carrying them on the broad leaf on its head. Lotad, the waterweed Pokemon. Wow. Alright. Gotta name this, uh... Forgive me for my outdated normie names. Yeah. Whoops. No, La Bamba's going to faint. Okay. It's gonna be a water type solo trainer in this game. Dead. Hmm, well, if it is an Astrage, so you've... Wait, what? So you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Astrid. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Oh, oh right, you're Wally, right? I'm going to s wait. Whoa, hold on, Wally. No, you can't go through puberty that fast. I'm going to stay with my relatives in Vern Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along, but I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Astrid, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Oh, there's Super Six again. Oh, wow, a Pokemon! Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Oh, there's Super Pokeball. Oh, wow, thank you. Astrid, would you really come with me? Yeah, dude. Let's go. Astrid, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! <sighs> it's a rats. Crazy. Definitely gonna want to catch one of those. Gardevoir is a good Pokemon in this game. throw a ball. Thanks, Wally. I feel very educated. Even though it's supposed to be me educating him, he's kind of just doing it. It's my Pokemon. Let's... Oh, sorry. Astrid, thank you! Let's go back to the gym! So, did it work out? Yes, thank you, yes it did! Here's your Pokemon back! Astrid, thank you for coming along with me! You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon! 
I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Astrid. Right. Now, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Astrid. But that's only after you've become stronger. I see you, Dad. Uh, who do I still need to talk to? Hi, are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? To check out what kind of gym is in the town. What kind of gym is in the town? Leader, Norman. A man in pursuit of power. Okay. You must be Astrid, right? Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We sent him to stay with my relatives in Burton Turf Town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? He's already left our Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. Wally was really happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna need a water break. And I need to stop accidentally tapping that button. I need to buy some Pokeballs too. low tad to the thing okay hold on i will pause to get water and add low tad be right back all right we did it reddit i am a wellspring of comedy Ugh. okay what was i doing i don't know let's just do things Traveling is wonderful. When I was young, I roamed the seas and the mountains. Sigh, I wish I could go on an adventure with some Pokemon. Crawl through some damp grass, climb rocky, rugged mountains, cross the raging seas, wander about in dark caves, and sometimes even get a little homesick. It must be fabulous to travel. It's pretty fun. My face is reflected in the water. It's a shining grin, full of hope. Could it be a look of somber silence struggling with fear? What do you see reflected in your face? You know... That's something that I really liked about older Pokemon games. Is that you could kind of just imagine what it is that was happening a lot of the time. And now it shows you everything, and what it shows you is kind of disappointing. Norman became our town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from somewhere far away. I battled Norman once, but phew, was he too strong. How would I put it? I just got the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. He's a gym leader. I wouldn't expect him to just keel over. I need to get a Ralts, so I'm gonna cut until I find one. Okay, well, we got a Poochana. It's not what I said we were gonna catch, but, you know, we were gonna need to catch one eventually. Poochana, the bite Pokemon. It savagely threatens foes with bared fangs. It chases after fleeing targets tenaciously. It turns tail and runs. However, if the foe strikes back... What a lame Pokemon. Uh, why name a little scummy hyena? Uh, I'm gonna have him add.
Those of you that get it, get it. Those of you that don't, can be offended if your name is Ed. Got a zigzagoon as well. Still not what I'm looking for. I was gonna need to catch one eventually anyway. Zigzagoon, the tiny raccoon Pokemon. Rubbing its nose against the ground, it always wanders about back and forth in search of something. It is distinguished by the zigzag footprints it leaves. Wow. That's not too bad. This is an alright Pokemon. It's cute. It's not a scumbag like Poochiana. Uh, gonna name it Rigby. Yeah, Ri. Nice. All right, back on the hunt. Wait, hold on, lads. I've encountered a Pokemon that I actually like a lot. So we get to watch the whole grueling battle of me hopefully catching it okay that's great don't want that to happen again please get caught you are a bug wow how come at least things can't run away in this game like in pokemon go well i mean there are pokemon that do that but it's not the point. Come on, catch. Nice. We caught Surf Skate. Wow. The Pond Skater Pokemon. They gather on puddles after evening downpours. Gliding across the surface of water as if sliding, it secretes honey with a sweet aroma from its head. Give a nickname to the captured Surf Skate. Yes. since I've played Pokemon. What do I name my Maskerings usually? Okay. Uh, took me a long time to think of a name. Gonna name it this though. Yeah. Nice. Dwan is evolving! Oh my gosh! In the search for Ralts, Dwan actually leveled up quite a bit! This is taking forever. But we get to see what it'll become now. A Dust Ox! Wow! That's not too bad. Okay! Wow, after like a half an hour of looking for this Pokemon, it shows up. Please, for the love of all that is holy, be caught by me. Well. Italian, it's French, but I, I, I don't speak French. But if you do, please tell me how wrong I am. You, you want to be in the premiere ball, right? Come on, I'm sure you like it. It's a premiere ball. Nice. It actually worked. Alright, we caught a Ralts. Ralts, the feeling Pokemon. A Ralts has the power to sense the emotions of people and Pokemon with the horns on its head. It takes cover if it senses any hostility. Give a nickname to the captured Ralts? Yes. 
We are going to name it. Uh, I think I forgot how to n spell this. Probably. Whatever. That's what I named my Mega Gardevoirs. Okay, gonna update the party, and uh, probably that's gonna be the end of the episode. Because we did everything in Petalburg. Oh, wait, no, 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 we didn't. We have to talk to Scott. Then it's gonna be the end of the episode. Um, sorry, bud. You're the one getting benched. Just gotta update the party and I can really only do that by cutting because I'm doing it very slowly and inefficiently so I'll be right back <sighs> all right we're back nice gotta save and talk to Scott Excuse me. Let me guess from the way that you dressed. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. That's harsh. Alright. Uh... Next episode, we're gonna do Rustboro. Yay! Or at least as much of it as we can at this point in the game. So, watch it. Uh, peace.